Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, at Drayton Park Golf Club and today I'm in my swing studio. I'm going to do an exercise using a driving range bucket and a tour stick to stop your over-the-top, out-to-win slice. So for a right-handed golfer, an out-to-win swing path would be producing a divot line that is excessively to the left of my target line with a ball flight that is curving generally from left to right for me, as I said, as a right-handed player. So the bad shots from there are going to be a shot that's going too far straight left of target, a pull, or something where it's over-curving to the right in more of a slice. If you are that type of player, or you know that type of player, please share this video with them. This is really going to help as a driving range exercise to encourage you to swing more in to out. I've just done a very similar video. I'm going to put the link to it in this video as well, using the same cane and driving range bucket, but for the opposite player, for the player who swings too much from in to out, for the player who's hitting a draw, the bad ones are pushes to the right and hooks to the left. Okay, so this is the opposite of that. This is for that player who's getting the divot line much more to the left. Could be causing some missed strikes, some heavy strikes possibly as well, but definitely getting a shot shape where it's over curving from left to right. So what you're gonna do, uh, and the reason I'm using a driving range bucket is I can't push this into grass as it's AstroTurf in front. If you can get it into the grass, all you need is the tour stick and the cane. If you haven't got that, you're on the driving range, as I said, a bucket with the cane through it. So this isn't, as you can see, vertical. It's set at around 70 degrees. Uh, it's far enough in front of me that if I swing on a more in-to-out path, I can miss the cane with my hand and with the club. Whereas if I get that club swinging from out to in, I would be striking the cane. So it's really going to encourage me to be swinging on a more in-to-out path with that cane in front. How far away this is from you does depend on the length of the golf club that you're using. I've got a seven iron here, and this bucket is three, three and up, about three and a half feet in front of me, in front of my ball line, and my ball to target line's around there, that white line, so the cane is starting around six inches to the left. Uh, of my ball to target line and it's set at this angle. So you can just work it out roughly by imagining or practicing this correct swing path is into square to in path, practicing that out to in path, practicing that in to out path and just making sure that if you are swinging the club on the line that you want, you can miss the cane. Let's go ahead and hit a couple of shots from here. So I'm not worried about a shot that starts right of target and stays there, a push. I'm really trying to hit a draw if I can, but a push is fine. I think I just clipped the very top of the cane on the way through. Um, it was a lovely ball flight, so it's gone 170 yards. It's one yard off target. More importantly, it started to the right. It bent to the left. And I had a swing path that was 3.6 degrees into out. So the data will come up on the screen here for you guys that you'll be able to see that. Let's try that exercise one more time. I'm pretty happy with that ball flight though. Nice right to left draw as you can see. And the data suggests that the swing path was good into out. Very, very similar, just a little higher, but a nice right to left draw shape just flew a little bit further. Slightly better contact on that one. So it's gone 175. It started 3.7, nearly four degrees right. It was bending uh, to the left. I got a swing path more into out, so five degrees on that one. So it's a great exercise if you are an out to win uh, swinger, if you're hitting that excessive left to right shot shape, try this on the driving range or the practice area. I know it will improve your game and your ball flight. Any questions, any queries, please post them below. Uh, I'd love to hear those and answer some of your questions about the videos you'd like to see or any follow-up questions you've got on this particular video. Make sure you check us out on all other social media uh, platforms. The data or the info sorry, you need is coming along the bottom of the screen now. And we are producing videos now every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5.30. So please check those out too. Thanks, guys.